Hi, my name is Ludas Butkus, and in this episode of What to Hodl, I want to do a review of Metronome. I have already done the rating in my ICO spreadsheet, which you can find uh, a link to it in the description of this video. So, in my ICO ratings, it, I gave it 80% out of 100, which is very, very high. So, let's look at it, uh, how it got such a huge score. So, firstly, the team. I gave the team 8 points, and let's look at the team. So, honestly, the team was the main factor why I decided to go deeper into this ICO. So, firstly, uh, Jeff Garzik, uh, who is a pretty famous Bitcoin Core developer, was why I got interested in this ICO. Uh, next, Matthew Rozak, another influential person. Uh, then there is Vinnie Lingham, the CEO of Civic. And Gustav Simonsen, who was a former Ethereum Core developer. And these are uh, the people that are, I think, most influential from their team. And overall, they have a pretty good team of uh, developers and members and advisors. So I gave it 8 points, and I think they definitely deserve that. Next, the idea. So what is Metronome, and what are they going to be building? Well, they are going to be building a cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency projects are doing quite well in the market so what are the new stuff that are bringing uh, bringing out so self-governance basically all the governance is going to be done through smart contracts reliability uh, here they are talking about the issuance of new tokens so the problem with Bitcoin is that it is a deflationary cryptocurrency. And with crypto uh, with currencies overall, if they are deflationary and with time they increase in value, people don't want to spend them. And this is happening with Bitcoin as people are just holding it and hoping for it to grow in value, which is not the best thing for a currency. So with Metronome, uh, they will have uh, a minting process of 2,880 tokens per day, or and it will go to 2% per year. So they will have a mathematical formula and smart contract that issues uh, 2% of new tokens per year. It will start at around 10% and will go down to 2% and then lock down the inflation rate. Portability. This is a new one and I have not heard of any project really doing this. But I'm not really too sure what uh, major benefits it brings to regular users. But uh, it's quite interesting. So what portability means is that the token will be able to live on many different blockchains that support uh, that supports uh, smart contracts. So it will be launched on Ethereum. But if you decide that you want to bring your tokens from Ethereum because you don't like it or for some other reason to let's say Qtum, you will be able to export your tokens and import them on Qtum how it will work. So let's say you have a whole million of tokens and there will be 10 million overall after the auction. So 10% of the tokens goes on Qtum. So now when the inflation minting is happening, which is going to be happening every single day, uh, new tokens go on both of these blockchains. So 90% would go on the Ethereum blockchain and 10% um, would go to the Qtum based on the amount of the total supply. So after an export of tokens, uh, the amounts of total supply uh, get indicated on every specific blockchain. And it could even work at 10 blockchains, every single one having like a million or whatever. 
the supply would be. So that's an interesting concept. Uh, it will definitely make uh, the token decentralized a lot. And yeah, uh, what's next? They are also going to do subscriptions, mass payments, and stuff like that. Uh, so that's uh, what they are bringing to the table. So next, and the community, the community is pretty huge, and I gave it nine points. If we look at Telegram, I think they have around 20, 22,000 members, which is a very, very solid amount. Uh, next, and the tokenomics. So let's quickly go through uh, the key points here. So the ICO starts on 18th of June, so there's still 30 days uh, until the ICO. The ICO will end uh, within the seven days or less. If the auction ends sooner and all the tokens are sold, it will uh, end sooner, but if they are not sold within seven days, uh, it will end. Presale, there is no presale and there is no max bonus or a bonus at all. There's going to be a single auction through which 80% uh, of the 10 million tokens will be distributed. And it is going to be a descending price auction. So it will start at 2 Ethereum for one metronome token and it will go down. So I think we could actually calculate. So at 2 Ethereum and 8 million tokens sold, uh, they are going to be raising like 16 million Ethereum as their hard cap, something like that, but it's very unlikely to happen uh, of all the tokens to be sold within the first minute. Uh, so yeah, uh, and the price is going to be decreasing throughout all the seven days. And if you are lucky and uh, you manage to grab the tokens at the last possible moment, you will be getting the best price. But it's really hard to determine uh, whether when is going to be uh, the last moment to buy. So uh, it can really go either way. If you buy too early, you will get a too high of a price for the tokens and it's not going to be very uh, good for you and if you buy uh, at the last possible moment then you will get the tokens very cheaply so yeah uh, so the tokenomics can go either way for you but overall what's good is that there is no bonuses no private sales and it's very transparent so i gave it seven points and then the bonus because there is no problem, I problems with the ICO, at least that I know of, I gave it 5 points. So this is it for this review. Uh, it is one of my top rated ICOs right now. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but also about the tokenomics. And the thing is that it is going to be an inflationary token uh, with starting with 10% inflation and going to 2%. So overall, uh, it's not going to be the best investment for IC as an ICO, though they have everything in place. So yeah, I have mixed thoughts about this. But overall, I'm rating it very, very well. So, yeah, this is it for this ICO. Again, if you want to find the spreadsheet, just find the link in the description of this video. I keep adding new ICOs into the list. And if you want me to review something, you can find the form where you can submit it uh, to me, what ICO you want me to review. So. This is it, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video, bye.